Good morning. Praise the Lord. Today, December 16th, we'll talk about uh, King Agrippa. Uh, this is Agrippa II, actually. Uh, we see about him in Acts 25 and 26. King Agrippa was the grandson of Herod the Great. He was a close friend of the Roman imperial family and as such ruled over territories in the northeast of Palestine. He appoints, uh, appointed the Jewish high priest and was custodian of the temple treasury. At this time he was about 30 years old and on account of his standing and background and his age was extremely useful to the Roman authorities in everything concerning the Jews. Yet having said all this, he was only ever a puppet king. His authority depended entirely upon others. Thus we find him paying his respect, respects to the newly appointed governor and using the occasion to display his position, clothes and dignity. Agrippa too heard the gospel from Paul but considered the message as mild entertainment. He found it humorous that Paul actually tried to convince him to become a Christian. Agrippa became a privileged man as he willingly took the opportunity to hear Paul's uh, defense. Not now in the midst of an angry mob or before a cunning group of accusers, but having had a time to think things through, Paul is at liberty to go over events at his own pace and sets out an organized appeal concerning his faith. He knows that Agrippa understands his position and will carefully assess all he has to say in the light of this knowledge. Let us appreciate the many opportunities afforded to us to know and hear the word of God. Today we'll thank the Lord for them, not forgetting the responsibility we have to make our response. Like so many before and after, Agrippa stopped within hearing distance of the kingdom of God. He had the opportunity, but he didn't grasp it. He left without excuse. He heard the gospel, but decided it wasn't worth responding personally. Paul, having exchanged words with Festus, now uses the moment to challenge Agrippa personally as to just where he stands in relation to believing the prophets. But Agrippa quickly sidesteps the issue and said, do you think that in such a short time you can persuade me to be a Christian? Uh, we see this in 26-28. Agrippa responded to Paul's presentation with a sarcastic remark. Paul didn't react to the brush off but made a personal appeal to which he hoped all his listeners would respond. Paul's response is a good example for us as we tell others about God's plan of salvation. A sincere personal appeal our personal testimony can show the depth of our concern and break through hardened hearts. We should bring them into a personal relationship with God himself. Then only they will be able to understand the gospel and respond to it. We, we are just the people who are there to put the seed into their hearts. Then the fruition, um, Holy Spirit God will take care of it. Let's pray. Lord, Thank you for teaching us about hard-hearted people like Agrippa. Lord, we come across so many people like that. Please help us to be more effective and more personal. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.